The horrific events that unfolded at Sandy Hook Elementary have not only shattered a small town, but ushered in a moment of national reckoning. Last night, President Obama gave an emotional speech at a memorial honoring the victims, saying that the violence must stop. But will Washington respond with more than words? Here's ABC's Jake Tapper. It was a trip he never wanted to take to deliver a speech he never wanted to write. President Obama arrived in Newtown, Connecticut under a cloud of cold rain. But inside the high school where he met with the victims' families, he tried to bring some warmth. And after an interfaith service, the president told Newtown that the nation grieves with them. Whatever portion of sadness that we can share with you to ease this heavy load, we will gladly bear it. Newtown, you are not alone. But this is a community consumed by grief. And there were no words to comfort those weeping when Jessica, he listed the names of the slain children, Benjamin. those beautiful little kids, as he referred to them on Friday. Avaliel, Allison. It was heart-wrenching to sit in that room, to hear the first-hand grief, not just the weeping so many of us as Americans and as parents have experienced, but the real anguish, the devastation. But we as a nation, we are left with some hard questions. And a president struggling to argue that some meaning will come from it all. Those close to the president say he's been hit hard emotionally by this tragedy. The father of two young girls connected with the parents' pain in a very personal way. Can we honestly say that we're doing enough to keep our children all of them, safe from harm. And if we're honest with ourselves, the answer is no. But now, the rubber meets the road. When he referred to our freedom, was he referring to gun rights? You know, we obviously have a society that uh, is one based on laws, uh, but it is a free society that creates a balance between the laws that we must abide and the freedoms that we enjoy. And those Americans turning to Washington, D.C. today in their grief for answers as to what they can do, what society can do, well, they did not hear any answers from the White House today. Can you name one thing the president has done in the last four years to help remove weapons of war from our streets? You know, there's no question, Jake, that the scourge of gun violence is a problem that uh, has not sufficiently been addressed. In other because, words, as we no. How are you? Though there appears right now to be a moment with gun stalwarts such as West Virginia Democratic Senator Joe Manchin, who fired a gun at environmental regulations in a campaign ad, now sounding a bit more compromising. I don't know anyone in the sporting or hunting arena that goes out with a, an assault rifle. I don't know anybody that needs 30 rounds in the clip to go hunting. And then there's the mental health component. The White House points out that Obamacare increased access to mental health care for millions of Americans, but access to those services is worse than for other kinds of services. And the National Alliance on Mental Illness reports that during the recession, states cut almost $2 billion in their budgets for mental health treatment. At Newtown High School Sunday, teachers left a message on a classroom's whiteboard thanking the president. In this picture, they tweeted, You're in our thoughts and prayers, the president wrote back. And for now, that will have to do. This is Jake Tapper for Nightline at the White House. This week, Nightline will be dedicating its broadcast to the search for solutions in the wake of tragedy as we remember these 26 lives lost at Sandy Hook Elementary. Good night, America.